Okay, this is our uh, video demonstration of the operation of a Ultron Systems uh, UH-117 uh, wafer cleaning system. You take a look at the inside right now. Uh, you have a brush over here to uh, use for cleaning. You've got a vacuum chuck here. And then there's a bar on this inside here that slides across and we'll uh, do a rinse and a uh, dry. I'm going to use this as for demonstration purposes. I'm just going to set that on, on the center here for now. That's all set up. Our power is here. And you can see the system is moving up. I have the heater, which is used for the hot, uh, dry part of the program, set to six. If you go around the back here, I just want to show you some of the utilities that are hooked up. Um, right now, I'm just running our house water into our additive and our H2. So we have a vacuum pump here, not included. Uh, you'll have to provide your own vacuum source. Uh, a connection here for the vacuum, that's to hold the wafer on a chuck. We have an N2 line for a blow off and drying, and an air line here. And here's our drain, we're just sort of draining into a bucket. So I have all uh, pressures on, the requirements are in the manual that you'll receive. And what pressure you need is typically around 60 psi supply, 60, 40 or 60. You will we'll receive a manual. So here from our, from our uh, start screen here, you can turn your vacuum on and off if, if need be, but when you go and run a program, it'll start up automatically. So I'll show you that it does work. Uh, and let me shut it off. Okay, now let's take a look at the program we have here. We'll just run that real quick. Program number one, enter. Wafer size, I put in six. It allows you to go anywhere from three to eight inches. Go ahead and hit enter. The program I have set up here is to do additive wash, 15 seconds, DI wash for another 15, rinse, 15, hot, dry, and cold dry. All 15 seconds, I did that just so we can uh, move through this uh, demonstration more quickly. And then uh, if you need to modify it, you can go ahead and hit modify. Uh, if you want to go to the next step, go ahead and hit your next step. Modify it, you can change your time. If you need to change the time here, for instance, uh, you'll go ahead and hit time. To erase what's there, to change it, you, what you have to do is hit backspace twice, and then go ahead and enter your values. Leave it at 15 seconds. And then we'll go ahead and exit from that. And you can see, well, quickly show that it saved it to EEPROM. So what we'll do here now is we got our wafer loaded up or, or uh, our device that we're going to clean. Okay, so in order to run a program here, we're going to go ahead and hit start. See, it's program one, hit enter. And it begins here, you can escape at any time and stop the process by hitting the escape button. Right now, if you look from the side here, you, well, it just did its, uh, it does a rinse and then it'll go ahead and do the additive wash for 15 seconds. You can see that the brush is moving and it is putting down uh, liquid. Oh, and one thing too is the chuck does change uh, 90 degrees. A change right there. And now it's going to do its DI wash. See we're in step number three here. Now it's going to go ahead and do the high. 
hot dry, it's just going to blow uh, hot nitrogen, heated nitrogen, on top of the wafer. Finally, a 15 second cool dry. You can always do an extra dry at the end if it's still not dry enough for you by pressing that option. Uh, the puffer is to allow you to release the wafer. If or the, uh, the holder there in case it's not uh, completely released, so you can go ahead and hit puffer. That just adds a little air to the bottom, lifts the wafer off the chuck. Okay, that's our uh, demonstration.